In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the find and find next functions in VBA to search through your uh, list of inventory to find the appropriate item that you want. So I've downloaded this from somewhere uh, long ago on the internet, which is pieces and parts of um, like it's office supplies, I believe. And, and so then I've created um, what I, I haven't created. I've downloaded one of the templates from Excel templates for an invoice. And then I've just made it a little more Canadian by putting GST in here. But and so you have, they have um, an order form or invoice that they're trying to do here. And you're trying to let them pick out the parts that they want. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in item one here. So it's, I'm selecting where that I want the item to appear. And so I'm looking for th this one. And so now I click on select product. And so now what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to, I'm searching for some chairs, let's say. Okay, so let's see what they've got for chairs. And what it does is it brings up the first chair in the list. Now I've made the, the user form big so that this, this message can go on the bottom here. And so I would like, I don't want to spend 731 on uh, chairs. So let's go next. So I want to continue searching and boy, we're getting worse instead of better. And so I'm going to continue searching. Ooh, this is about my price here. 60, uh, $62 and 96 cents. Okay, so I'm, I don't want to search anymore. And so now what I've done is I'm, I'm going to go enter. And so I'm going to put this, this product on my invoice or order form. And so there we have the item number and description and the price. And so let's say I'm going to buy, so I have to close this form and I have to go, um, let's say I want six of them and it automatically calculates how much money we want. So now let's go to the next, the next cell for the next line. So I've clicked on the next cell in the next line and I go select product. And I think I want binders now. So I'm going to go binders and let's see what they have. So we're going to search the first binder and $11 and 32 cents or 20, 23 cents. Now I think I'll see, see what else they have. So I continue searching. Ooh, this is getting worse. Mm, let's see if they've got another one. Ooh, seven dollars and sixty-four cents, right up my alley. And so I'm going to stop searching, and then I'm going to enter. And so there, there are my binders, and I think I need mm, twenty of these. So I have to close my form first, and I put twenty in there. And now we're up to $530 for our total. So let me tell, show you how I've done this. You could, of course, continue for the, as many lines as you have on the sheet here. But let's let's look at the code. And so, so first of all, I've made a user form, and it's very simple. Um, it's got the product, and uh, this is where the product, like the binders or the chair is. This is the item number. The item number, description, and price is what's retrieved from the list of, um, of parts that you have. And so let's double click on the search and we'll go through that. Okay, so when you click search, what it does is it's taking whatever you've got in the part the parts thing there, and then it's searching column B, which is on your sheet one, um, and then it's looking for the part number. And then if, if it finds no, it says no product found, if it doesn't find anything, but it will. And, um, and so then if it's not nothing, then the address of the row with all the information, the first address equals range road address. And the row number is the row or range row. Okay. And so then what it's going to do, it's going to retrieve the, from your uh, sheet one, it's going to retrieve um, the price and it's going to retrieve the product, the product name, and it's going to retrieve the item number, and it's going to retrieve the description, and it's going to put it on your user form. Okay, so if you, then it asks you, 
um, as yes, no message box, would you like to continue searching? And so you have to answer yes or no. And if, if it's yes, then you go um, set range to find next range. And then it's go to run again. And I put up a spot up here, run again, so it starts over again. Um, and then if you say VB no, then it goes to ND, which is right down at the bottom here. So that works pretty nice. Now, let me show you what the next one is, which is the enter, and it's pretty, pretty simple. What you're doing with this one is you are, um, you are just, you're taking whatever is on the, um, on the user form, and then you're putting it, um, so the active sheet, because you're going to have more than one order form, you're going to have probably hundreds of them. It's the active sheet, and the active cell is the row number, and when using the, the the active row which i call this row what you're going to do is put the the appropriate values in each of the appropriate boxes on the worksheet um, the last thing i did here is my reset button and um, that's very simple that's just setting all of my cells on my user form to to nothing so that's how you can use the find and find next to go through all the products that you have to put them on another sheet or on an invoice. Please subscribe.